Hello, welcome back to Paper and Moose. Today is flea market day. It is also Easter Sunday, so we will see how this crowd turns out, whether there are a lot of vendors, a lot of buyers. You never know how it is on a holiday. People might come out before, people might come out after, people might not come out here at all. So we will see, but it is a little after six. The sun is coming up. Let's get out there and see what treasures we can find. There's a popple. <laughs> this one. <We're> here. <laughs> a rocker popple? <laughs> I've never seen a rocker popple. Good old thing. market recap it was a very weird day at the market vendors weren't getting there until much later so by the time you have like by the time that your picker crowd normally leaves that's when the vendors were just arriving so you had the picker crowd you had like the Sunday crowd it was very weird and I mean, I still had a good day. I picked up some different things, things that I wasn't expecting. I didn't find a lot of paper. Today was, there was a lot of tools, old tools. Um, and then the vendors just took a long time to set up. <laughs> like I walked around, they still weren't set up. Walked around again, they had like a box out. So very weird day. I started out buying some vintage fabric. This woman had suitcases filled with fabric, which was a great way to display then. And she said that she, um, I guess, had been cleaning out or had gotten all the contents from this home of this lady that did sewing. So I went through the fabric. I was hoping for maybe, you know, some great mid-century modern with unique patterns, designs, but I found these instead. So this is cute. It 
little puppies and cats. This is a rather large piece. Um, I picked this up. It's not super vintage, but it's baseballs with all different teams on them. This I thought was cute. Little oriental ladies with the swans, like the look swan, like paper or crane, like paper mache crane. I liked this piece. I like the colors. I thought that was nice. And the two larger pieces I picked up, this is very retro. I mean, it has, oh, I guess they were maybe trying to make it into like a dress or a smock. Hmm. That would be a cute dress. That and then this really large piece that has the blue with yellow. I do have some other old vintage old vintage fabric and I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna make pillows out of these to put on my, my couch and my room and make other pillows and that's, that's all my to-do list. My never ending to-do list. But I got all the fabric for $2, so I thought that was a, a, a good deal. Then what else? I did find some smalls. The guy was selling jewelry. He said that it was his grandmother's, that everything he had there was his grandmother's. And he was the last person to get into the house. He had a lot of jewelry out, and he had it in $1 bins, $2 bins, and like $5 bins. And there was a guy there that, had, that was testing pretty much everything for him. So if you got there before that guy got there, then you may have gotten some good things. Or, I mean, the guy was there when I was there. And then when I came back around an hour later, he was still there testing things. I believe the guy even had an item that was ivory, which I mean, you can't sell on eBay. There are certain stipulations, but he, the guy was like, this is probably your best piece. But I picked up a few pieces that I liked. There's this necklace. Hmm. Some beadwork. Um, I thought this was neat. It's an Egyptian. It looks older. Again, more beadwork. I've sold crucifix crucifixes. Is that the plural? Before. Um, this one's marked France. This one's marked Real Ebony on the back. I don't know if you can see that. And this one. This one I thought was pretty neat. It reminds me of some kind of modernist. I mean, it's it's simple. The way that the body is made. I picked up this little pin. A ship wheel. These I thought were really cute. Skiers. This one might be made out of wood. And then this guy just enjoying his lift. And then this here too, you can see. And then I, there was this whole thing, and some of these look pretty neat. So I did quick, discreetly look on eBay. And the USJCs, I have to actually see what they are. But some of the pins, um, you know, went went for a decent amount of money. There are two New Jersey ones. I love, what first attracted me was the man in the vintage bathing suit. I thought he looked neat. And then there's one for Atlantic City, 1978, a lady with dice. Oh no, there goes one. We lost one. What's this one? Until I get South Dakota. So I did look them up and some of them went for 10, $12 a piece. This one has Vince Lombardi of the Packers. Wisconsin JC State Convention, 1977. We shall see how these do. Um, you know, photographing these and listing these can get kind of tedious, but they're different, so that's why I, I don't mind so much doing that. So this is pretty neat. What else? 
I picked up this lovely lady. Oh, her arm's a little, she needs some repair. But this is a Frozen Charlotte. I actually have a few of these. I don't think I have one quite this size, but the guy was like, oh, for you, $2. Okay, you don't have to twist my arm for that. And she's marked Made in Japan on the back. And her necklace is even nice. It's vintage, I don't believe, you know, she came with this necklace. I don't, she probably most likely didn't come with the dress either. Maybe she did, I'm not sure, but she's cute. I picked up, I didn't even open it. Oh, I don't want to open it because I won't show you what's written on the back because it's not appropriate, but <laughs> I picked this up because it was from Easton, Pennsylvania. So Sterling Films, Easton, PA. Sterling's Films, Cameras, Easton, PA. So I'll keep this, add it to my local collection. And whatever is inside can stay inside. Also adding to my local collection I bought this for a dollar, not even a dollar, maybe like 50 cents. It's a Phillipsburg High School yearbook from 1916. And if you can see, they originally had it, whoever he bought this from, I'm assuming they got it from an auction or an estate sale. They had it for $20. Okay, Preparedness. Do you believe in preparedness? I do. I believe in it. I advocate it. I think preparedness gives confidence and ensures success. It is the path to commencement. Are you ready for commencement? Are you prepared with mind, body, and spirit to wrestle with the problems of life? I, <laughs> I am prepared to serve you with the best soda fountain goods. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the... <laughs> We go from, you know, you're graduating from high school to let's be prepared with sparkling soda waters and ice cream sodas and delicious fancy sundaes. I don't think having all those is going to equate to getting muscles. Sorry. But this is an ad for the store of quality sweets near the post office in Phillipsburg, New Jersey. My store is the meeting place of most high school students. They all know how good my jigger sundaes are. A jigger sundae. You should be convinced with a single visit. I assure you my personal service. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is the editorial staff. Look at them. Bet you they never thought they'd be on YouTube. Well, they didn't even know about it in 1916, so a little ahead of the times. Wow. This is pretty neat. And there's the good old Peaberg football team. We are famous. We have been on, our rivalry football game has been on ESPN several times. We did a Gatorade replay game where we replayed Easton Area High School um, because one of our Turkey Day games, the tie, it was 0-0. So they brought out actually Eli and Peyton Manning to coach and Peaberg won. What else did I buy from that guy? I bought this. A lady picked this up and he's like, oh, that, that, that's kind of neat. And it has some neat photos, a dollar. And I'm thinking, please put it down, please put it down. And she did. So there's vintage Valentine's in here and it's framed. And it looks like maybe some kind of cloth or crepe paper backing, but a dollar. And then the same lady also picked this up. And the guy was like, oh, I just thought that was neat. I collect neat things. It's a dollar, and again, put it down, put it down, put it down, and she did. And this is a tobacco, um, tobacco label, or tobacco band, cigar band, not tobacco. Well, cigars are tobacco, but a cigar band, a cigar label bowl that people used to make from the cigar bands. I was gonna say, this looks like a moose, but it's probably one of those deer. But these are really neat. But again, she put it down, and as soon as she laid that down, I scooped it up. Well, I purchased this for myself. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's nylon sewing thread from Hemingway and Bartlett, 505th Avenue, New York City. I thought this would look nice on my shelf. I have a thing for green. I love the color green. I still like to have their, its original label, 
And I just, I just like the look of it. And when you like the look of something and it's like a dollar, why not? Why not buy it? I also purchased this. This is an old New Jersey state flag. I'm not sure where this could have hung. I was gonna say maybe on like a, a, a ship or a boat, but it's small, but it's a little rough shape, but it's, it's definitely old. Got that. And then the last thing I purchased, I was a little late to the game on this one. This guy just said, oh, I was at an auction yesterday and I bought a whole bunch, I bought some framed photographs. This one is of a band. He goes, I had some of the baseball team that I sold earlier. Like, oh no. So this was taken in Lehigh in Pennsylvania and he said that this was a the Lehigh band. Usually they have some kind of banner, but I can't, there's none in here. Their collars do have initials or a name on their collar, so I have to get out my loop and look at that. But they're all younger children. You know, it's the old frame with the nails in the back. But he asked $5 for this. And for $5, I couldn't pass it up. I wish I would have been there to get the baseball photos because I'm sure that they were really nice. But I got this one instead. So, yeah, I, I, I did well today. It was an odd day at the flea market, but still a good day. So that wraps it up for my flea market adventure today. I found some good items. And uh, now it's time to get to work and you know, take some photographs, do some research, and then get ready for my work week as well. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos as I venture out to find great vintage items and ephemera. So until next time, thanks again for watching and have a great day and a great week.